Hey guys, Josh Collins here with Prez Pro Custom Homes, and I'm gonna walk you through the finished product of our Camden plan today. Now this home is built in Eagles Landing in Concord, North Carolina. Um, it is about 5,500 square feet, six bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and it is a gorgeous, beautiful house. An English arts and crafts design. Um, you can see the white brick that's become so popular in our portfolio. And we set it off with this uh, kind of grayish color windows and um, the, the accent siding. I think it really contrasts nicely. This is a blend of a little bit more of a modern feel with a traditional English style. So you can see the uh, traditional elements of that style with some of the arches and things like that. But it's got in a nice modern contemporary type feel to it. So as we walk in, we're in the two-story foyer. It opens up into the dining room to the right. And some of the, I mean, the, the details come out right away from, you've got the uh, herringbone pattern on the floor. And then even this traditional style wainscot is modified with the square edge flat trim, which gives it a more contemporary feel. So it feels familiar, but yet it's got that flair that makes it uh, a contemporary style. So I'll show that from a different angle. There's the foyer. You can see how that lovely herringbone just kind of invites you into the foyer there. We call that our rug. It's got the herringbone rug. And uh, as you walk through, you know, I'll take you this way. Uh, we've got this cool picture accent wall with the picture light. More of that nice flat trim. Opens up into the living, kitchen, breakfast, outdoor area. You can see the coffered ceiling, the sheetrock wrap coffer to make it feel nice and clean and fresh. We've got the wood and the basket weave lighting. And this is sort of a cool feature. So you can see the, the big uh, uh, quartz wrapped waterfall island. And we did the extra thick countertops in the perimeter cabinets as well. And then turned that quartz and ran it all the way up the wall. So your backsplash is just a solid seamless piece of quartz. It looks like your countertops just extend straight up. We've got some floating shelves here on both sides. Let me get you a different angle. You've got the floating shelves on both sides of the, uh, the uh, range hood. Makes this kitchen really nice and symmetrical, which I love. And then you've got the AGA range. I don't know, I call it an AGA. It could be an AGA, I'm not sure. But again, this is something that feels like it's uh, somehow familiar from the past. And yet it is completely modern and works for families for today. It's got all this room in it. You've, this is just such a cool, I don't know. I, I just love this range. It's got all these different drawers and doors and places to cook food. I mean, it's just incredible. This is the Aga Elise warming drawer. Storage, five burners. Sorry, not trying to geek out on that too much. Um, breakfast nook with uh, a little vault to the ceiling to change it up a little bit. And then a really nice oversized outdoor living area. Really bright, I'm trying to get my finger out of the camera here. Really nice and bright. Cathedral ceiling with the skylights. Um, your built-in gas fireplace. With the, with the uh, imitation logs there, I don't know what they would be called. And a place for your, uh, your TV. You also have a gas tap for your grill. And um, this patio extends out to the edge here in case you want to have something that's out under, uh, not under cover there. All right, so let's walk back in. We'll give you a different view of the living room. So the living room has got these cool um, contemporary floating shelves to the right in lieu of a built-in cabinet there. It gives it a nice contemporary feel. But then again, you've got the herringbone pattern on the back of the gas fireplace. And we've got a limestone mantle 
And hearth, I could see we've got a place built in there for a TV, but I could just as easily see a nice piece of contemporary art over the top of that fireplace. Now the master bedroom is back through that hallway. However, I'm gonna take you there in a minute. Before I do that, I'm gonna show you this wing of the house. And before I do that, you might ask, where is the pantry of this home? Well, this is a really sweet feature. When these doors are closed, it just looks like a nice upright cabinet. But this is a cabinet entry to your pantry. So you've got this great, large, oversized pantry with tons of storage space, high ceilings. And last I knew, I don't see the sensor here, but it even has an autom automatic sensor so that when you walk in, uh, the light automatically turns on for you. You don't have to go and search and try to find it somewhere. So I love that feature, it's such a cool feature. So we'll take you around um, through the back, the, the other wing of this house. We'll look at the master in just a moment. But back in this area, we have a drop zone, uh, I guess like a mudroom type area. Straight ahead, we have the laundry room, which has got washer and dryer cabinets overhead. And then we flip around the other way and you've got a utility sink with more cabinetry. And right outside this, just off the kitchen, you have a really cool powder room. Wish I could get this from a different angle, but um, you've got a really nice custom tile floor, sort of a basket weave look, and then a floating marble sink with a wall mounted lavatory. And just a really gorgeous design here, this uh, custom pendant light. Just a beautiful overall design. Love the way that looks. So then back off this corner, you go back and this is a, uh, a, a mother-in-law suite. Could be a private office. It's got a ton of light overlooking the backyard. Um, it's a nice size bedroom if you use it for that. It's got a private bathroom with a tile shower. It's got its own walk-in closet. And if you look in this bathroom, it's nice neutral colors, a little contemporary design on the tile. It's hard to see, there's a glare. Let's see if I can open that up. Yeah, so you got a nice contemporary, uh, kind of a, tr a less traditional, more modern spin on the subway tile, stacked it vertically instead of a horizontal brick pattern. Marble floors, nice bench accented with the marble from the floor tile. A lot of marble in this house, marble countertops here, marble floor tile. You see nice view of the back of the home. All right, so let's go look over at the master. So again, this home is about 5,500 square feet. Uh, did we go through the butler pantry? I don't think we did. Here's a butler pantry. Again, you notice the herringbone rug running through the butler pantry. It kind of ties the whole thing in together. And this has got a really good sized butler pantry. Tons of extra storage, cabinets up to the ceiling, extra sink. It's got a hot water dispenser. It's got a wine chiller slash beverage center, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, it, has, it has racks uh, for both wine chilling and just regular refrigerator type racks. All right, guys, I'm back for part two of our walkthrough of the Camden plan at 1104 Vision Path. So we're just leaving the butler pantry. We're gonna go wrap around and take a look. We have this, uh, I just wanted to show you the accent cabinetry of the island. So you have this beautiful quarter sawn wood grayed out horizontal grain pattern, just a beautiful accent to what's going on in the rest of the house. Here's a different look of the whole kitchen living room area. All right, so going into the master. I absolutely love this master wing of this house. I wanted to uh, get to it first, but we will get to it now. So as you walk in, you have this grand master bedroom. You can see the beautiful light, the picture windows. I mean, the, there is more window in this room than there is sheetrock. You've got the two story, the double uh, tray ceiling accented by 
the designer lighting. Um, you've got reading lights on the walls with switches next to where your nightstands would be, which is a cool feature. At night, you don't have to get up and walk across the room. And you've got an electric fireplace hooked up in your wall. This can provide both heat or you could turn the heat off and just get the ambiance of the electric fireplace. So pretty cool feature. Um, I think you're able to even change some of the lighting and the flame patterns and that kind of thing. So it's, uh, it's, it's a cool contemporary touch on the house. And now we're gonna walk into the bathroom, which is the feature that I love about this house the most. So as we walk in, you have a gorgeous, huge, oversized master shower, uh, master bathroom with a, a walk-in shower, a soaking tub. I'm trying to get an angle where you can see all of it here. So first of all, your vanities, you've got that same beautiful horizontal quarter song grain uh, wood cabinet. You have your marble countertops with your vessel sinks and then the tall um, single hole uh, faucets. And you've got an entire wall of mirror here. There's no, um, there's no joints. There's, you know, it's not individual little mirrors. It's just a super contemporary style, full wall mirror. I love that look. Makes this room feel so big. And you've got your pedestal or pendant, excuse me, uh, lighting coming down to accent that whole thing. And then as you turn, the bathroom is literally, I mean, probably twice as big as it is, uh, as it feels when you just walk in behind the door across from the vanity. You've got an oversized soaking tub for two, contemporary style design, and you have an enormous shower. Those, those uh, tiles on the wall of the shower are four feet. So you've got literally like a 12 foot wide shower here with a hand shower, all contemporary style. You got your valves in the wall. You have a nice place to sit your soap, things like that in the niche there. And I love the stack bond pattern on the tile because it's just a really um, contemporary look. It ties everything in with the whole home. And then back through here, you have uh, in a nice little uh, water closet with a little extra space next to it. And then you've got your, sh your, uh, your master closet. Looks like most of the shelving is done. I think they still have a little bit to go. But it's a really, really big closet and tons of light because you've got this two-story window here, which on the front of the house really sets it off. You can see across the street another home that we're building over there as well. All right, so let's go out and we will uh, we'll hit this from just one other angle here. The master bath. All right, and then let's go out and finish up the tour of this house. We're gonna hit the second floor and the third floor as well. All right, so as we go up the stairs, we've got some accent lighting, some nice sconce lighting, as well as some can lighting, just to make sure everything looks bright and airy. You get to the top of the stairs and you have a bunch of uh, accent windows as well. When you look at these from the street, it really gives it a nice uh, congruent look, the way that the, the windows just wrap around the corner of the home. And at the top of the stairs, you have another staircase to the third floor. On the left-hand side, you have what is a bonus room. It could be used as a study, uh, could be used as an office, whatever you feel the need to use it for. A really large, wide hallway so that it doesn't feel cramped. You've got a desk here for maybe the kids to work, um, to do homework or have a computer of their own. And you have your first bedroom. Each bedroom has a walk-in closet. So this bedroom, um, you can see, has quite a bit of room, some extra niches and nooks in here. And it, this one has a Jack and Jill. So as we walk in, you have on this side, your first vanity. You walk through, there's a linen closet here. You have your next vanity. And then behind this door, you have your toilet, and again, another stacked bond style shower, this time with a different type of tile.
but that vertical stack bond really makes it look contemporary in here. So we'll walk through into the other room. Again, marble countertops. You can see the marble floors. I'm not sure if I showed you those. And now this room is just kind of almost a mirror image of the one on the other side. It's just a nice, uh, large bedroom. It's got ample lighting. We threw in a couple extra windows up high just to keep the privacy, but still bring in more light. And again, it's got its own walk-in closet here. And then it pops back out into the living room, excuse me, into the hallway. As you can see, we started down at that end. We ended up over here. Now at this end of the hall, we have another, this is a bedroom, uh, but we have it laid out as a game room or a media room, rec room. It's a really nice size room, super large. A lot of extra light, bright light, and it has its own uh, walk-in closet. So again, you could use this for a bedroom. You could use it for a game room. And as we walk out, there's one more bedroom. So you have your uh, hall bathroom here that walks through into the last bedroom. Now this is the, um, let's see, the one, two, three, four, this is the fourth or fifth bedroom on this floor. And you can see again, a full wall of windows. You'll notice all the light in this home. Full wall of windows, bunch of light, big room, walk-in closet. And this shower, again, is featuring another pattern, very interesting tile pattern on the walls. Makes it feel fresh in every room that you walk into. The stack bond or the straight lay marble, marble countertops, big bright mirror. That's the hall bathroom. All right, we've got one last place to walk through. You might notice, oh, just thought I'd point this out. You've got the Nest thermostats here in this house. So it's, uh, I guess you'd call it a smart home. All right, so last, last room to look at. You got a big family, you enjoy entertaining. Well, this is your room. This is the third floor. This is like the ultimate media room or the ultimate rec room. It's got room for a ping pong table, a pool table. You could have your own little uh, entertainment media area, movie theater. You've really got room to do so much up here. Again, Nest thermostat on the wall. So this is such a great addition. I grew up in the north where we had basements we don't always have room or the ability to do basements here in the South. And so this is like your basement. It just happens to be above your second floor instead of below your first floor. So I hope you've enjoyed the videos. This is Josh with PresPro. Uh, you can get more information about this house, the Camden plan on our website, www.prespro.com. Or you can always give us a call, 704-453-2700. Thanks for taking the time to watch.